In this video, I would like to tell you about the computer program and how it works. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. What is program? A computer program is a collection of instruction that can be executed by a computer to perform a specific task. So, we can say that computer program is the way we communicate to the computers and telling them what to do. Programmer is someone who makes a program. They convert problem solutions into instruction for the computer. The first thing to do is the programmer prepares the instruction of the computer program and runs those instructions on the computer. Next, they need to test the program to see if it's working properly and makes correction to the program. Another work to do is to maintain a well documentation by writing a report on the program. All of this hard work maintained to deliver a good program for the computer. Sometimes it is done by a single programmer, but often it is all about the teamwork and communication with variety of people. For example, with user, miniature, system analyst, and tester. Now, let's start with the detail of what programmer do. The first one is defining the problem. The given problem could be burdensome or just as simple as trying to find out the largest number of a sequence. Defining a problem consists of identifying what you know, such as given data, as an input, and what you want as a result or the output. Defining a problem consists of identifying what you know, such as given data, as an input and then what you are going to do or what you want as a result or an output so the programming process will be here the first thing you need to do to make a program is defining the problem first define the input and the output uh, what is your expectation on this program what is the result this process can be complex since you need to meet the users, the person who will use your program, your customers, the one who pay for your program, software analyst, person who outline the project, and more. The next thing to do is trying to find out the solutions. The key is use an algorithm. So what is algorithm? Algorithm is a sequence of computational steps that transform the input into the output. You can write an algorithm in form of flowchart or pseudo We'll talk it later in other videos. So, what's the problem can be solved by algorithm? There are a lot of things that can be solved. For example, an oil company may wish to know where to place its wells in order to maximize its expected profit. An airline, as well, may wish to assign the crews to flight in the least expensive ways possible, making sure that its flight is covered and that the government regulations regarding crew scheduling are met. I have another video about algorithm, which you can check in the description box below. The next is coding the program. As the programmer, your next step is to code the program to express your solution in a programming language. Why it is called language? Because it helps us human to tell the computer what to do. We need to speak in the language. You will translate the logic from the flowchart or pseudocode to a programming language. As we have already noted, a programming language is a set of rules that provide a way of instructing the computer what operation to perform. 
To get your program to work, you have to follow exactly the rules of the language you are using. There are a lot of programming language. For example, C, C++, and then C Sharp. And Python, Julia, Java, and more. The programmer is supposed to test the program. Is it working properly and no bugs? Of course, sometimes error and bugs happen. Of course, some programmer make an excuse when their code doesn't work. The company might hire a software tester to test your program. They will try to figure out all of the error possibilities, so beware of changes that take forever. The last but not least is write a documentation. Document is an ongoing necessary process. Typical program documentation materials include the origin and nature of the problem. It also contains a brief narrative description of the program. And then it also contains logic tools such as flowchart and pseudocode. Data record description, program listing, and the testing results. Comments in the program itself also considered as an essential part of the documentation. Many programmers document as they could in the form of comment. Thank you! Don't forget to like and subscribe.